Yo, what's good peeps? Like a dragon, infinite wealth, excitement is certainly heating up as the release is drawing closer and we recently got the opening movie, so definitely keep it locked for the information. Sega dropped the opening movie for Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth and after watching it, it certainly has got me hyped. Now, if you are as impatient as I am and can't wait until the game is officially launched this coming Friday on the 26th of January, let's take a closer look at what a day in life for our ponytail protagonist Ichiban Kazuga looks like. So Infinite Wealth picks up three years after the craziness in Yakuza Like a Dragon. Ichiban is on a quest to find his long lost biological mother, Akane, who he thought was gone during his youth. What's crazy is that his journey takes him all the way to Honolulu, Hawaii, and as luck or fate would have it, another ex-Tojo clan legend, Kazuma Kariyu, is also on the hunt for a cane. Now, from my perspective, the game looks amazing, and I'm counting on the days until I can dive back into Ichiban's larger-than-life world. Now, I know the Switch turn-based combat might not be everyone's cup of tea, and when I did first play Yakuza Like a Dragon, I was a little bit disappointed with the fact that they did use turn-based RPG combat in that game, because over the years, I've always been used to the sort of brutal combat and the sort of action fighting that was in all of the other Yakuza games. But it definitely did grow on me the more that I did play Yakuza Like a Dragon. And what also looks good is the fact that the combat system has gotten some serious upgrades. So it definitely seems like it's breaking new grounds and I'm certainly here for it. Now, while I am super hyped for the release of Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, I will say that there is a downer in the fact that Sega seems to be a little bit money hungry as they have actually put the new game plus behind the paywall, which to me definitely seems a little bit of a money grab. Now, this personally doesn't affect me because I was always going to get the top ultimate edition of the game but at the same time for those who want to get the standard edition I do feel like a feature like a new game plus should certainly just be a standard edition to any regardless of whatever copy of the game you pick up you should definitely be able to play the new game plus so I will say that I am a little bit disappointed that Sega have gone down that route and I feel like it's a definite bold move and I'm curious to see how it plays out can't deny though it's a tempting offer for those eager to experience everything the game has to offer and as I said someone like myself who's going for the ultimate edition of the game this probably wouldn't really affect someone like me but I definitely do feel the frustrations from some of the fans out there who are disappointed with this move anyway peeps do let me know your thoughts in the comments below as to whether you are looking forward to the release of Yakuza Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth this coming Friday the 26th of January is this a game that's been on your radar it's definitely been a game that's got me hyped over the last few months since it was initially announced so many months ago so definitely can't wait to play it as always if you did enjoy this very quick urban gameplay video be sure to hit the like button do hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so before and until next video we definitely say peace out peeps make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for more cool urban gameplay videos